Now let's do set number 31, five items, math, word, problems. If you haven't answered them yet, post every item, answer the first before you will see our solutions. Number one, how many inches are there in three and one-third yards? Sa tanong na ito, dapat mayroon tayong prior knowledge kung ilang inches ang isang yard. One yard is equivalent to 36 inches. Ang tanong dito ay how many inches are there in three and one-third yards? Sa 3, so bali, multiply mo ng uh, 36, 36 times 3, and this is 108. 108 plus yung 36, i-divide mo ng 3 kasi 1 third man siya, that is 12. So, ang total niya ay 120 inches. Uy, bakit Z yan? S inches. So, ang answer dito ay letter B. Another way, so again, dapat mayroon tayong prior knowledge na ang 1 yard is equivalent to 36 inches. Ngayon, mag-multiply lang tayo 36 times 3 and 1 third. Itong mixed numbers na to, gawin natin improper fraction. 3 times 3 equals 9 plus 1 equals 10. Tapos kopyahin ang denominator na 3. Then, 36. Pwede na tayong mag-multiply. Itong 36 na to, consider yan na, uh, yung itong whole number, consider yan na num numerator. At mayroon yung imaginary denominator na 1. So, this is 360 over 3. Then, i-divide natin. 360 divided by 3, and this is 120. Letter B. Number 2. If Carlin's Candy Shop opened for business on Saturday with 22 and one fourth pounds of fudge. During that, uh, during the day, they sold 15 and five eight pounds of fudge. How many pounds were left? Magdidak lang tayo. Ni minus lang. Kasi ito yung uh, umpisa. Tapos ito yung nasold. Ang tanong lang naman kung ilan ang natira. So, i minus mo lang siya. So, ang una natin gawin ay yung mga fraction. Ang least common denominator nila ay 8. Meron tayong separate video on how to find the least common denominator. 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 2 times 1 equals 2. In other words, si 1 fourth ay equivalent ng 2 over 8. Tapos ito, kopyahin lang. 2 over 8 minus 5 over 8. Magbaro lang tayo ng 1 dito sa 22. So, magiging 21 na siya. Tapos, yung 1 ay 8 over 8 kasi dapat pariho ang denominator. 8 over 8 is equivalent to 1. Nandito yung 1 sa 21. 22 yan, naging 21. Tapos, ito yung isang 1, 8 over 8. So, i-add natin yan. That is 8. 8 plus 2 equals 10. So, 10 over 8 minus 5 over 8 is equals to, kopyahin yung denominator na 8. 10 minus 5 equals 5. Ito yung fraction natin. Balikan natin ang mga whole numbers. 21 minus 17 and that is 4. So, ang sagot dito ay 4 and 5 over 8. Letter B. Number 3. A child's swimming pool contains 20 and 4 fifth gallons of water. If... Three and one third gallons of water are splashed out uh, of the pool while the children are playing. How many gallons of water are left? I minus mulang siya. So ito yung four, uh, 24 and one uh, four fifth minus three and one third. Again, focus tayo sa fraction. Ang least common denominator nila ay 15. 15 divided by 5 equals 3. 3 times 4 equals 12. 15 divided by 3 equals 5. 5 times 1 equals 5. In other words, si 4 over 5 equivalent ng 12 over 15. 1 third equivalent ng 5 over 15. 
So, pwede na tayong mag-deduct. Dito muna. Kopyahin si denominator na 15. 12 minus 5 equals 7. Balikan natin ang whole number. 20 minus 3 equals 17. So, ang answer dito ay 17 and 7 over 15. Letter C. Number 4. During the month of May, one-sixth of the buses in District A were in the garage for routine maintenance. Okay. In addition, one-eighth of the buses were in for, were in for other repairs. So, itong dalawa. If a total of 28 buses were in for maintenance and repairs, how many buses did District A have all together? I-add muna natin ito. 1, 6 plus 1, 8. Ang least common denominator nila ay 24. So, 24 divided by 6 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. So, ito, 24 divided by 8 equals 3. 3 times 1 equals 3. So, i-add muna natin. Kopyahin ang denominator. 7 over 24. Next, if a total of 28 buses were in the were in for maintenance and repair, how many buses does District A have all together? Para masagot natin yung tanong na how many buses did District A have all together, itong 28 na to, i-divide natin sa 7 over 24. 24 yan. So, 28, itong division maging multiplication at recipro reciprocal 24 over 7. Now, i-multiply uh, na natin ito. Para klaro lang, i-multiply natin dito. This is So, it's 672 over 7. 672 over 7. And this is 96. So, the answer here is 96. Para mas lalong maintindihan, ulitin natin dito banda. Erase natin yan muna. So, bali itong 16 at saka 18, ito yung maintenance and repair. If a total of 28 buses were in maintenance repair, how many buses did District A have all together? Ito, ina-add muna natin. So, ang sagot natin ay, ito, 1-6, tapos 1-8, ina-add natin, ang sagot natin ay 7 over 24. Pali, itong 7 over 24, equivalent niya ng 28 bus, buses. So, ito yung pinaka-total, ito yung equivalent dito sa 28. Pwede natin gawing ganito. 7 over 24 equals, to equivalent nito ay 28 kasi ito yung na sa maintenance and repair over let x be the total of passes. So, mag-cross multiply lang tayo. 24 times 28, meron na tayo dito. 672 equals 7 times x or 7x. Then, Para ma-isolate si x dyan, mag-divide tayo ng 7 to both sides. So, 672 divided by 7, that is 96. Ganon pa rin. So, bali, ang ginawa ko sa solution number 2 natin ay cross multiplication or ratio and proportion pali. Bali, ratio and proportion kasi ito yung total. Tapos, yung total ng sa fraction natin. Tapos, ito naman yung, yung 28, yun yung given Tapos, sinahanap natin yung si X. Another solution pa. Para mas lalo pang maintindihan. Magulo na ang... Magulo na siya. So, i-erase na lang natin lahat. 1, 6 and 1, 8. Diba, ina-add na natin si 1, 6 and 1, 8. Na 24 ang denominator nila. And this is 4, 3. Kaya, naging 7 over 24. Ngayon, itong 7 over 24, ang equivalent nito ay 28 buses. Yan yung maintenance and repair. Itong 28, i-divide natin si 28 ng 7. 28 divided by 7, and that is 4. 
So, itong 4, yan yung i-multiply natin sa 24. So, 4 times 24, 4 times 24, and that is 9 to 6. So, the answer here is 9 to 6. So, ito na yung solution number 3 natin. Number 5. On Monday, a kindergarten class uses 2 and 1 fourth pounds of modeling clay the first hour. 4 and 5 eight pounds of modeling clay the second hour. 1 half pound of modeling clay the third hour. Question is, how many pounds of clay does the class use during the 3 hours on Monday? I-add lang natin yan lahat. So, 2 and 1 fourth plus 4 and 5 over 8 plus 1 half. Doon tayo mag-focus sa fraction para mas madali. So, ang least common denominator nila ay 8. So, 8 divided by 4 equals 2. 2 times 1 equals 2. Then ito, uh, 8 divided by 2 equals 4. 4 times 1 equals 4. So, i-add natin ang mga fraction. Kopyahin ang denominator na 8. 2 plus 5 plus 7. And that is 11. So, itong fraction natin na 11 over 8, gawin muna natin siyang mixed number kasi mas malaki ang improper fraction nito eh. So, dapat gawin muna natin siyang mixed number. 11 over 8 is also equivalent to 1 and 3 over 8. Yan yung equivalent dito. 11 over 8 is equivalent to 1 and 3 over 8. Now, i-add natin itong mga whole numbers. Yan lang. 2 plus 4 equals 6. Yun yung mga whole numbers. And that is 6. 6 plus 1 equals 7. So, kopyahin si 3 over 8. So, ang answer dito ay 7 and 3 over 8. Letter D. Again, para mas maintindihan lalo. Sa given, ito lang yung i-add natin. Fraction. So, baliho, mixed numbers, itong mixed numbers at isang fraction. Ito yung bali parang solution number one kasi pwede naman nating i-gawing improper fraction lahat. Pero addition lang kasi ito, no need na gawing improper fraction. Let it be as mixed numbers tapos ipang-add natin yung fraction muna bago yung whole numbers. So, nung nag-add tayo ng fraction, ito na yun sila. Hinanapan muna natin sila ng least common denominator. So, ito na yung total niya. 11 over 8 improper fraction ang ginawa lang natin siyang mixed numbers. 11 over 8 is equivalent to 1 and 3 over 8. Ngayon, binalikan natin yung mga whole numbers dito. 2 plus 4 equals 6. So, itong 6, whole number, ina-add natin sa 1. So, naging 7 siya. Kopyahin si 3 over 8, of course. So, ang answer niya ay 7 and 3 over 8. Letter D.